There are less than 2,000 pandas roaming their native mountainous bamboo forests of China, making pandas a world-famous icon for rare species. But as of July this year, China declared they are no longer an endangered species. Hi, I'm Kyle Oberman, nature contributor for the China Current, showing China's wild side. The fact that pandas are no longer endangered may come as a big surprise. They faced a long uphill battle to get where they are today. In a previous episode, we explored how the panda's traditional habitat was dramatically reduced and fragmented over time, threatening the species' future. In fact, they once were even hunted for their pelt, a trend started by Teddy Roosevelt's sons who won widespread media acclaim for the specimens they brought back to America from Sichuan almost a century ago. The discovery of the giant panda by the West sparked an international wave of demand for pandas, dead or alive. After China banned poaching, hunters of other non-protected species frequently snared and killed pandas. In the 1980s, George Shaler, a scientist with the World Wildlife Fund, which helped first establish China's modern panda protection programs, noted that poaching was the greatest threat and that China needed a ranger program. Today, there are over a million rangers in China, many working inside the giant panda's remaining habitat, the size of which has almost doubled since the 80s, thanks to protection efforts like stopping poachers, planting bamboo, and protecting forests. And panda's numbers in the wild have increased by 50% since then. Many assume these gains are due to China's successful captive breeding and release programs. There are an extra 633 pandas in panda research centers and zoos across the world, including the hundreds at the panda research base in Chengdu, which has made the city locally and globally famous for pandas. But in reality, to date, only 12 captive bred pandas have been released into the wild. Their leases have helped boost genetic diversity and reduce inbreeding of some isolated panda populations. Researchers in China hope to continue to replicate this success, and there are even murmurs of releasing pandas into a new Chinese province where they are no longer found. These programs have advanced scientific understanding of the panda and secured the panda against extinction. But the reason pandas are no longer endangered is primarily due to increased protection of their habitat. China's new Giant Panda National Park is one of the country's most recent initiatives to secure the species' habitat and future and any threats to the availability of bamboo, which makes up 99% of a panda's diet. The park now covers 75% of the panda's habitat, and last year alone, rangers in the park walked over 10,000 kilometers on routine protection patrols, the equivalent of walking from LA to New York City and back. New technology is also helping protect the panda, like remote camera systems paired with AI recognition technology to monitor species in the wild, and a growing system of satellites used by China's government to monitor illegal activity in critical habitat and reserves. The next survey of all wild pandas will begin next year and continue through 2023, 10 years since the last survey. With pandas being taken off China's endangered species list, we can expect an increase in their numbers. However, pandas are still listed as vulnerable. Their future is only secure if the current trend of prioritizing protection continues. The formation of the new national park increased participation of rangers and the UN Biodiversity Conference held in Kunming, China later this year are all good signs that it will. I am James Chow, you're watching The China Current. Follow us on social media at The China Current.